Maddie has entered the chat. Hello everyone, welcome to the vlog. It is Thursday morning, it's about 9.30. This stuff ain't, hold on. I had to change the time on my camera because it was still an hour ahead. Now we've got it correct, so now this time can be correct. Today is like Christmas morning, why you ask? Because I'm getting my hair done. Yes, again, because I'm crazy. I did buy new extensions this week, earlier this week. If y'all didn't watch my last vlog, it's a long one, she's a hefty one, but that is when I bought my new set of extensions. But these are the colors that we will be mixing. Um, I believe we're gonna tone this one down a little bit, but still like have those highlights in there to kind of go with the highlights that I have. Yeah, we're gonna be back to the long hair. These are 24 inch extensions, but I'm not doing the full 24 inches because that is absurdly long. I'm thinking like, 21 maybe 20 i don't know we'll see how i'm feeling my appointment is at 10 it is 9 30 and today is also the day that starbucks launches their christmas items so obviously i need to go down and get myself a little christmas treat a christmas drink i'm thinking i'm gonna do the white chocolate peppermint mocha because i want an ice drink don't like the normal peppermint mocha ice i feel like it tastes like gritty i only drink the peppermint mocha if it's hot don't know if anyone else agrees with me on that. I don't know. I just like it feel the texture is a little weird, cold. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to place a little order. I literally live above a Starbucks, so it's, it's a little convenient. It's a blessing and a curse, honestly. Or should I do a hot drink so then I can get a cute little cup? Because I really want the Christmassy cup. And the, I feel like the ice cups aren't as like festive. Yep, we're going to do a hot drink. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Maddie has entered the chat. I feel brand new and like me again. I I was so excited for this appointment today. Literally, I texted Amanda, my hair girl. I texted her last night. I was like, it feels like Christmas Eve. Like tomorrow's gonna be Christmas morning. I am so excited. It is about 2.50. I picked up Jimmy John's for lunch on my way here, on my way like back home. And so I ate some lunch. And then um, I've been working, catching up on a few things. I'm uploading my days in my life video. Um, it's really just like working, running errands, little date night, putting up the Christmas tree, you know the vibes. Uh, but right now I'm actually getting ready to hop on a call with um, my health insurance lady who is helping me get new health insurance. Um, I actually had a call with her yesterday and then today we're going to like screen share so she can actually like show me what she's looking at on her end so I can understand like the different policies and everything and y'all I mean, I knew a lot went into health insurance, but boy, there's there's a whole lot, a whole lot of. Um, the downside to working for yourself is that like health insurance isn't obviously, like I don't have any benefits. Even with my apartment job, like it's still like a 1099, meaning I'm not like a quote unquote like employee. Like I am my own person still. And so like, it, cause we work strictly on commission, like we don't get salary or anything. So we have 1099s and that being said, we don't get any benefits. And so I'm still like independent or like as far as like insurance goes, 
because a lot of jobs like have insurance like they provide it for you and it just like comes out of your paycheck every month that's in about five minutes not 40 4 30 a.m 4 30 p.m there was a time i accidentally uploaded a video this was several years ago um 4 30 in the morning or like whatever time i used to like upload i did a.m instead of p.m i was like oh sick this is another 45 minute long vlog like i don't know what i'm doing i don't intentionally mean that like i don't plan for it, it just oh I was okay so after my call this is probably last like 30 minutes to an hour yesterday's call was like 45 minutes but after that I need to pack and finish up work for the day those are two very important things like everything that I'm doing right now I'm like I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time because we have our Bible study kicks off tonight at um, Orchid which is like a little girls night that Shoreline City is having Shoreline City is the church that I go to and so tonight is like a girls night worship message and everything and that starts at 7 but I need to get there by 6 30 so I need to leave here by 6 so I have two hours to pack and to finish up work and change for tonight's service because I leave tomorrow at six. Uh, my goal is to leave my garage at 6.30 in the morning tomorrow. So that that's why I'm like, I don't have time to pack tomorrow. I guess I could, but I would rather not because by the time I get back home, it is gonna be time to go to bed to sleep because it's not like I'm catching a flight or someone else is driving me tomorrow. Like I'm driving myself, I'm gonna be driving six, seven hours and I gotta be awake. Texas is a very expensive state overall. I got off the phone with the insurance people like a little less than an hour ago. It is 4.30 now and I'm just now starting some to get some of my work done. Well, I have time to pack before I leave for church in less than two hours. That's a really hot take. It's really just pushing it. I don't even know what I'm wearing tonight. <laughs> mm. You know what I also just realized? I have been parked in a two hour parking spot for well over two hours at the moment. I should probably go fix that. Okay, speed like lightning, let's go. Oh my gosh, wait, I'm supposed to, I'm not, I, I gotta get it together. <laughs> Okay, it is 5.30 and I'm in the freaking dark. The only light that's on is my freaking mirror. I, have I packed anything? No, the answer's no. Okay, so the main important part to this whole weekend, um, if I didn't explain, I am going to LSU, good old Baton Rouge, Louisiana, to one, visit Caroline, who I've been getting so many questions about, like, where's Caroline, where's Caroline? Y'all, she's been in Louisiana, she ain't in Texas anymore. But no, it's been almost three years since I have seen her. So I'm going to go see her and LSU is playing Alabama this weekend. So we're going to the football game and I'm so excited. But, oh, this camera's about to die. The most important process to this whole packing shindig is that I need to know what I'm wearing to the football game. Duh. And I already have like somewhat of an idea. So I have this lace top that I've worn several times before. It's so cute. It's like a fun little layering thing. And I've worn it with like under sweaters over like tank tops, or whatever. But it's only ever been like a black thing that I pair it with. So I got on Amazon and I ordered a red bodysuit. Y'all, it is the perfect freaking shade. Hello? Okay, not the perfect shade for Alabama, but like to match this, it's perfect like underneath this it's gonna be so cute it's not gonna be very cold so this will be just fine and you know what i'll bring a jacket just in case maybe i'm thinking this with some sort of something this is where i'm like what like what bottoms do i wear do i want to wear jeans not really what pants do i want to wear skirt like i genuinely have no idea rain Okay, it doesn't even get below 70. We're chilling, but the rain is kind of concerning. And the fact that it's raining on Sunday whenever I go home. <laughs> I think this might be too frilly. I bought the skirt for the game and I don't even think I'm gonna wear it. But like, I think it'd be really cute layered with the like a sweater or something with some boots. Okay, low key. <gasps> 
I don't know if I want to be that person and wear like a sequin jersey, but I could be the person that wears a jersey with like a cutie little skirt and boots. That could be an option. You know what? We're packing options this trip because it's, I'm going to be there like two days and we've got the room. But like, I feel like this would be really cute, you know, with a skirt, but it might be like in your face but caroline's also wearing like a cutie little sundress and it'll be like polar opposite vibes and i don't know if we want to be like different vibes but like i said options <laughs> this skirt it's like um i don't even know how you would explain that but it's a cutie little skirt short set that would be cute with the lace outfit i'm gonna get there and hit them all i also i do also have a white lace thing as the red but i don't know what this would go under <gasps> okay this was my original plan this is why i ordered this i ordered this before i ordered the red bodysuit i could wear this underneath this black sweater vest with the white skirt but the other day i tried on this sweater vest with this white skirt and i wasn't really a fan i would just bring it you know Last weekend on my trip to um, my grandparents, I literally packed no clothes. I didn't know we were going to church Sunday, so I didn't even pack anything clothes or church attire appropriate, church appropriate. So I literally had to borrow one of my mom's dresses, which, you know, ended up working out. Like, it was cutie. But this time around, I'm like, I can't underpack. We are overpacking. You know, if I was rooting for LSU, this gold um, sequin thing would be so cute. Maybe I could bring it for Caroline, but I don't think that's something she would wear. It definitely isn't. But, you know, if I was an LSU fan, it would be cutie. I bought these boots from Amazon. I have yet to wear, I actually have yet to even try them on, to be quite honest with you. It would be really cute with like, the layering thing with the cutie skirt. But like, I can't wear brown boots with a black sweater. Wait. Wait a dang darn hootin' minute. I could with this one. It's definitely a lot longer though. I'd have to like... Wait, that would be cute! Like this, tucked in somehow. Layered with the white lace. Yeah. And the white skirt with the brown boots. I could wear that tonight, actually. To church. <laughs> uh, I might have to wait to pack until... I get home tonight which is so aggravating because i really just wanted to get home and go to sleep okay not gonna lie this is kind of cute eh? with the little like it peeks through but it's not like too much i tried tucking it in but like with the boots i'm obsessed with these boots i really would wear them i mean obviously at some point um this is my first time trying them on but kind of cute this would be a cute thanksgiving outfit i did wear this for thanksgiving last year though without the skirt so maybe not again this year I don't know. I wish this was just like a little bit shorter so you can see the skirt a little more. You know? I swear this like lengthened somehow. But anyways, it it was a good idea in theory. Let's see. Okay, let, let me try on the black. Like, I don't know. I feel like the black just looks obviously not with the brown boots. I don't know. I don't know about that one. Plus the skirt is low-key kind of see there. Okay, wait, actually. If I had tall black boots, this would be cute. But I don't have tall black boots. I got tall brown boots. I don't know. Is this, does this look weird? I feel like I can look like a trash bag. Okay, I looked at it in the full length mirror and I'm not mad about it. But I would wear like my black booties with it. I don't think these boots are going to make the trip this weekend. That's okay though. It's okay. Even for like a little date night. Mm. Yeah. Okay, update. It is 6.15 and guess who finished packing? Me. How, how? I do not know. I have no idea, but I also, I did decide that I am wearing this to church tonight. I'm just not doing the lacy underneath thing. And then I found, I found boot socks. I found boot socks, except they're not, are they called boot socks? They're knee high socks. But you know, like the layering thing, it's 70 degrees out and I'm looking like it's a lot colder, but you know what? Fall vibes, it's cute. And I, it's not like warm, like I still, I have my legs showing a little bit and I still have my arms out. So like, it's, I think it's a good fall transition type of outfit. Okay, that being said, I am praying to the Lord above that I don't have a ticket or that my car is towed because I have been parked in one or 
I guess technically it's two hour parking since 2 p.m. and it's six. I'm about to leave to go to church. I got my Bible. We're ready to go. Um, this is the kickoff to our Bible study. So there's not everyone's able to go tonight, but um, we have 10 seats saved for church tonight and it's orchid night, all the girls. It's gonna be an all girly night. So I'm really excited to see everyone. I haven't seen a lot of these girls since our Bible study ended back in like March or fifth, whenever. Did it go through March? I don't even know. But it's been a hot minute. So let's go and get dog Jesus on. I have extensions in my head. Anyways, just got home, got a package from one of my country artist friends. This has my address all over it. Dylan Schneider, let's see what's in it. He just released a new album, so I have a feeling it has to do with that cold puzzle. Oh, this is so cool. We got a beanie. That's cutie. A little, um, what is, a koozie. <laughs> Hello. A sticker, CD, this is a CD. I don't have CD players anymore. Oh my gosh, it's an actual puzzle. <laughs> That's iconic. I have a long, well no, not long. I have a short night of sleeping ahead of me, but you know what? It's okay. Your brain just, my brain, whenever I think of things that I need to do, I like start doing the things, and then in the middle of the said thing that I just thought of, I think of another thing to do, and then I start doing that. And then it's like a never ending cycle of things that I've started but have not finished because I keep going on to the next thing. Anyone else? My dishwasher is so weird. The buttons are literally inside the dishwasher, so I have to open it to start it. What? Orchid was good. The service was really good. I don't, I would assume that they're posting the message online. So if you want to see the full thing, I'll link it down below. It's on their YouTube. I got a majority, I got like all the clothes, like outfits packed for this weekend, like, which, like I said, is like the most important part. And so the rest that I need to do is like toiletry and shoes. I haven't packed any shoes yet. Oh, also with Orchid, they gave us these little keychains. Like, look how freaking cute. It's like green with a little heart. And then it has these little charms and it says love on it. Look how cute that is. And honestly, I'm needing a new one because my key ring that I have now, this used to be all bedazzled and it's all I've come off. We're going to switch those things over. Okay, my upstairs neighbor. What are you doing? You know, I think I'm just gonna pack the rest in the morning because I need, I'm waking up at five no matter what. God, that sounds awful. To drive. Ugh, I don't think I've ever driven that early by myself ever, which is kind of crazy to think about considering the fact that I used to drive back and forth from Alabama to Texas all the time. I mean, good gravy.
Good morning, 6.30. I'm running a little bit behind, but I kind of figured that would happen. Um, anyways, I have basically everything ready to go. My suitcase, blanket, pillow, carry-on. That's not a carry-on because I'm literally driving, but you get the you get the gist. I'm literally only going to be gone for like two days. It's fine. But um, I'm wearing this little set from Amazon, y'all. I'm obsessed. It's a, I think it's Hanes. So soft, so comfy. I wear it all the time. I've worn this to the office before. I need to update my storefront. It's on my storefront though. I'm about to go to my car, load up some of the things, and then bring it around to the one hour parking so I can load up the rest of the stuff because the walk to my car is a hefty one. Let's get going. All right, I've been, what did I just? Hello. I've been driving for a little bit. Um, but I started with like half tea. What? I didn't start with a full tank of gas, and so I'm gonna get gas here. Plus, I needed to pee so bad because this, this coffee went right through me. I'm like, hello. So I'm gonna get gas. All right, the tank is full. The tank is clean, and we are ready to go. We have five hours and 18 minutes left, 349 miles, estimated ETA is 1.34 p.m. That's not bad. It's 8.15. I mean, we are killing it. We really are. I'm gonna sleep. This is so Okay, I am starving. I need, I need some substance, and I am in the middle of nowhere. Ugh. Nat, 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 Nat Toches? What the frick is that? I live in Nat Toches, Louisiana. I know I'm butchering that. It probably is not pronounced that way. That was the long. It looked like the longest word ever. Y'all, Nat Toches is coming through with some food. There's Wendy's, Popeyes, Subway, Burger King, McDonald's, Kane. Let's freaking go. Does Wendy's start selling lunch at 10.30? Because I could go for three buckets. All right, everyone, update. I am about 10 minutes out, praise the Lord. I watched three episodes of Outer Banks. <laughs> um, I didn't realize that I was gonna have to drive through LSU's campus. Like literally on like, I don't even know what road I'm on, but it's like a main road through the entire campus. And as I said earlier, my license plate literally says Alabama. And I'm like, I mean, these LSU fans, they don't mess around, so. Good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. Happy game day. It is about 8.30ish. I've been awake since like 7, just chilling in bed. But we have officially made it. This is my room. Um, Caroline has a house now here, so that's really cool. Um, she lives with her boyfriend Matt, and so I have my own little guest room here, which is so nice. But I think she's still sleeping, I'm not entirely sure. Like, I just want to like brush my teeth, wash my face, that sort of vibe, and then maybe she'll be up in like 20 minutes. But Matt had left about an hour ago, who is her boyfriend. Uh, he's setting up the tailgate and everything. We have a lot going on today, which I'm really excited about. Not like a lot, but like. We have, they have a full tailgate and then our seats are so cool. They're like sweet seats almost. Like at least that's how I'm understanding it. And they have like food, drinks, like all of the cool things. So I'm really excited for today. I did pack like four different outfits to choose from. I don't know what I'm wearing. Like I genuinely have no idea. I have like a sweater outfit. I also have like a jersey outfit. And then that lace top thing that I mentioned. I have no idea what we're gonna end up with today. So we will figure that out. I took a shower last night, like a full everything shower. So I feel really clean, but it's just like, you know, brushing the teeth aspect of things. <laughs>
this is my outfit. Hello everyone, I just got back home. Had a seven hour drive back home. The good news, the best part about this drive was Dawson, so he's been working, and he actually had a stop in Longview, which is only two hours from home, and I literally drive like straight through like the exit to take to the airport that he was landing at, so I was like, I'm gonna stop by, because it was like right whenever I was passing through, he was there, and so I got to see like, this is the first time I ever got to see like the plane that he flies, which he flies different planes, but like, you know, the same kind of idea. Just see all the details of like his work day, which was really, really cool. But now I am unpacking. I have a concert tonight. <laughs> yeah, I know. From one thing to the next. I honestly, I wasn't gonna go, and then I was gonna go, and then I wasn't gonna go, and then I was like, I just need to go. <laughs> like, I'm going. Um, it's one of my friends, Dylan Schneider. We've known each other for several years now like back when I was in high school. And so we've just been kind of like supporting each other like career-wise since then. And so um, he's on tour right now for his new album that came out called Puzzle. Super good album, by the way, like not one bad song on there. Cause you know how some albums it can be like, there's like a solid five on it that's good. No, like this entire album, so good. He's literally here and I'm like, he's performing at House of Blues, which is so close to me. Like I have no excuse not to go. No, support him and everything. So that's what I'm doing. My friend Kai is coming with me. And yeah, this is honestly a last minute thing. I called her or I texted her and I was like, do not feel pressured to say yes, because this is literally in like two hours, but do you want to go to this concert? <laughs> She's like, yes. So she'll be here soon. Um, and I'm just trying to get myself situated before everything and before work tomorrow. I mean, look how fancy this ticket was for the game yesterday. Solid. <laughs> Lost. 